Blue skies, soft sands, foamy waves. Hello everyone, my name is Declan. This is why I did my research project. Here to collect some samples of tiny mollusks, tiny seashells hidden in the beaches of St. John's Island, so that I can make a database of all the different types of seashells you can find here. I have decided to do this because little research has been done on them to document them. And so, this is what I do. I slowly pass some sand through a special sieve made for the tiny shells. For this research, I needed to choose many spots along the beach to collect sand from, so that I can get a representative record of different types of shells. I get this pretty black sand we've got here. It's black because it lacks oxygen and becomes populated with anaerobic bacteria that produce hydrogen sulfide. The smell of fossil eggs. It smells horrible in real life. But to me, this sand is full of intrigue. And voila, here we have these beautiful Brazilian snails. So these snails are truly the most common type of snails around the island. And you can find them almost anywhere in Singapore, even in Sentosa. Okay, so now we're done with collecting samples. Now this is where it gets researchy. I enter a lab. I wear a cool lab coat, and I get to use a powerful microscope. Look, we have so many different types of snails with different patterns on them. Some have beads, some are lined with fridges, some are lined with spirals, and some are simply smooth. Aren't they just adorable? Also, they have different shapes or forms. Most are conical, some are plenty spiral, or elongate cylindrical. The weirdest looking shell I found was this. The shell is a member of the family Eptinoidae and genus Cycloscala. Its spiral is so loosely coiled that it looked as if it might break at the slightest touch. It is puzzling to think how it might survive in the ocean since its habitat is currently unknown. Actually, it looks very similar to an individual of the Tenor Goddess family, who are known to burrow into the cavities of sponges, and this might provide a hint as to where this creature lives. This microscope we use is called the Leica MZ12.5 Stereo Microscope. It's connected to this computer over here, so I can take snapshots of the mollusks. Here's a whole gallery of the different seashells I have discovered. And that's what I do for research. Research is simpler than you think. It can stem from any small spark of an idea in your daily life. But it can also be more challenging than you think because there are just so many problems waiting to be solved. Of course, it can get difficult sometimes. Collecting samples under the sultering tropical sun, straining your eyes and neck to count the minuscule samples. But trust me, you'll be so proud of yourself when you finally obtain a result. Doing a solo project meant that the workload was higher, but with the support of my family, mentors and slab staff, I persevered to complete the project. The first time I saw them under the stereo microscope, it was unreal. Every time I think about it, I find it so fascinating that I never realised that these creatures even existed, and that I could have encountered them at the beach without even knowing. Singapore is situated where the Indian Ocean meets the Pacific, and boasts a huge range of biodiversity with our beautiful coral reefs. Through my research, I found that a bag of sand contains hundreds of micromollusks, some of which are newly identified in Singapore. This has been a small survey, but imagine what a full-scale study could have found. What more could future research have in store for us? Well, you never know until you give it a shot. So start your journey today.